fight now takes a back seat for the moment to what happened in Southfield, Michigan. The man who is most concerned outside of the immediate family has to be Bob Arum. He promoted this extravaganza, and I talked to him today about Hearns. I had no concern about the fight itself happening. I had no concern about anything other than Tommy and his mother. And that was my first instinct, and I went to see Thomas. He confirmed. I mean, I tried to show some compassion, and, and Thomas didn't want anything like that. I mean, he says he's ready. Uh, it wouldn't affect him. He was blocking it out. No thoughts of the fight being called off? Never. Never. Not even once. So that, I mean, really and truly, Maury, that thought never even crossed my mind. Well, a guy like Thomas Hearns, you've known him, you've promoted his fights in the past. Does something like this change him? Does he react to it? You have to understand fighters. When they're this close to a fight, they block everything out of their mind and concentrate only on the fight. And you're concentrating on the fight. I mean, this is a uh, this is the biggest thing that, that's not only happened to you, but to the boxing world. You're talking about a possible $80 million gross gate here. That's right. And, you know, I can see how directed I am in the tunnel vision that I have. And I'm not going into the ring tonight. Uh, Thomas Hearns, who will face Ray Leonard, who for eight years has wanted nothing more than to knock Ray Leonard on his behind, is really thinking of nothing else. Remember, that's the promoter of the fight. He has to talk that way. I can't believe Hearns isn't thinking about it. And because of that, we sent our Bill McGowan to Southfield, Michigan, to follow what happened over the weekend and the arrest of Tommy Hearns' brother. Thomas Hearns, he's nicknamed the Hitman. Late Saturday night, as he was preparing for his bout with Sugar Ray Leonard in Las Vegas, police were responding to his home in Detroit in search of another hitman, a gunman who took the life of 20-year-old Nancy Burreal with one shot to the head. Two hours later, police had in custody Hearns' 22-year-old brother, Henry. According to fight promoter Bob Arum, Henry Hearns was house-sitting Thomas's Detroit home while his brother was in Las Vegas preparing for the Leonard fight. But then, sometime after 10.30 Saturday night, something went terribly wrong. According to police, a shooting took place in one of the rear bedrooms. And after police responded, they discovered what they believe is the murder weapon and the victim. The 20-year-old victim is reported to have been Henry Hearns' girlfriend. Today, her stunned and grief-stricken family arrived at police headquarters to try to find out why their beautiful daughter's life ended so abruptly. So far, the local police investigators have kept a tight lip on details surrounding the case. We know that there were several people in the home at the, when the uh, shooting transpired. Uh, apparently, all people in the home were known to one another. Can you tell us at this point whether there was any sign of a struggle at all, all or anything out of the ordinary? Uh, the specific circumstances of the scene I cannot address at this time. While his brother is behind bars, Hearns remains in a neutral corner, so far silent on his family's sudden crisis. There will be no statements from him or Thomas Hearns, no press conference of any kind. Pre-fight hype is traditional before a big bout like this. Until Saturday, the only stir came from a Hearns accusation that Sugar Ray was pumping up with steroids. But that paled in comparison to the news of his brother's arrest, a scandal which is bound to rob Hearns of the peace of mind he enjoyed just two days earlier. This is the way I feel, and this is the way I want to feel all up to the fight. I want to feel relaxed and at peace so I can go out there and do what I have in my mind to do. Of course, the fight promoters are trying to downplay the whole incident. And I am absolutely convinced that it will have no effect whatsoever on his performance Monday night. All week, we've been hearing how Monday night was going to be one of the most critical in the life of boxer Tommy Hearns. Well, now, coincidentally, it may be among the most crucial for his little brother, Henry, who is under arrest and awaiting arraignment for the murder of a 20-year-old woman. With me now is Jimmy the Greek Snyder. We all know Jimmy the Greek probably has seen more boxing matches than anybody alive, except maybe my father. <laughs> anyway, he was a sports writer in Washington. Jimmy, 
Can you believe that Thomas Hearns can put this out of his mind? Absolutely. I mean, this is nothing to hurt him. In fact, it might give him a little bit more of an incentive to keep going. You know, Muhammad Ali used to wait until a big fight before he'd argue with his mistresses or his wife <laughs> so that he could go in and really have a, you know, and be up for but it. You couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. Go into a ring, a, a brother, somebody in the family. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that. The only time it would matter is if it, if it affected a small child. I mean, I've been around a lot of them, and the only time that you can take a sports personality who's going to fight, play football or baseball, I mean, when they put down the kickoff or the first strike is thrown it's or the smoke. first part, I mean, it's all forgotten all right. about, but if it's a, a little girl or a little boy, then it's a different story. Right. What about this fight? I mean, uh, Leonard's about a, what, three and a half to one favorite? Right. Uh, uh, Everybody's saying he's bulked up. Hearn says he's taking steroids. Have you seen his upper body? It's fantastic. What he I don't know what he did to it, but it sure he sure looks terrific. You in like fact, him? I do. I, I in fact I I made a small wager. You made a small Jim. Well, yeah, yeah. That he'd well, win in the sixth round. Just remember, this is Nevada and it's legal in Nevada. Absolutely. That's why I said it. <laughs> All right. So you think it where sixth round? I made a bet that he'd knock him out in the sixth round. And it wouldn't go eight. But but that doesn't mean I'm right. And Leonard will fight again, you think? Oh, definitely. All this right. guy's never going to give it up. All right. Thank you very much, Jimmy the Greek Snyder. It'll happen here tonight in this ring. In a moment, we'll be back with a dying woman's last...